Hi, I'm making this video for those of you who might be really new to this program uh, and don't know how to get around or what to do. I sort of assumed that people getting this would already know the system really well, uh, but uh, some of my customers, they're pretty new to the whole system. So this is meant for those of you who are beginners, just want to understand all the capability of the program and how to do what you want to do. So when you first start the program and get it registered, you're looking at some sort of client on a screen and you see all their cards. We'll talk about these cards in a minute. Let's just talk about getting clients in here first. So first of all, to, to add somebody into your database and, and display their cards on the screen, you have to click on this name here, this field, which brings up your client database. Okay. Now, when you first start out, you probably don't have anybody in your database, but I've added some people in here, but I'm just going to show you how to add somebody in. So you would click on add client and then you would put the name. We're just going to call this person one and make it a male and give him a birthday of 1 12 1955. And when you click on that, it automatically, when you hit enter after the birthday, it automatically shows you their card. And it automatically uh, highlights this button here, which would say save the client and exit. Okay. And there's also an instructions uh, uh, button here on the screen. You should watch that so that you understand all the different functions of the database. So I'm just going to hit enter here and it selects this person and it brings their cards up on the screen. So now we're looking at all of their cards and you can click on any card and the meaning of that card will pop up on the screen. And you have the option of reading. This is the, what we call the, uh, the meaning of the card in its position, but you could also get the basic meaning of that card and go back to the contextual meaning like that. Okay. So like this is what a five of hearts in the Mars period is about. And this is just what a five of hearts is about in general. Okay. Okay. So you're looking at two spreads. Usually, uh, you have the birth card and you have the planetary ruling card, two of spades and 10 of clubs. You can look here to see what this person's significators are. We're looking at the birth card and the planetary ruling card. And then there's their personality cards, which we don't really use, but they're there for some people. And there are some instances where you want to use those. But looking at the spreads, you can click on any card and it, if you hover over the card, it tells you what the card's meaning is, what the position of that. Now, if you haven't read the cards of your destiny book, all this is going to seem very unfamiliar to you and you really need to know the, the structure of the system, how it works, and you need to know the terminology that we use. Okay, so we call this the long range card here. This is the environment. This is the displacement. This is your object card or the, the basically the card of the person. And so we're looking at two different yearly spreads and these yearly spreads always begin on somebody's birthday. So this began last year or this year in January on January 12th and that began the first period. So you have these seven periods here from Mercury through Neptune and you can bring your mouse over there and it'll tell you what the name of the period is. Each one is 52 days long. The current period is highlighted depending on what the date is. Now, this is always, this starts out being the current date, but you can change the date. You can go forward or backwards in time. There's several ways to do that. You can click on this and you could just select a date. You can select a year and a, and a day. You know, you can do that. Uh, you can go back and forth in different time periods and so forth. And you can just click on today and come back to today if you want. You can also use this to move ahead like this. If you're looking at a yearly spread, which we are, you can move ahead one cycle, which is a year. Now we've moved ahead one year exactly. And you can go back and you can also just move ahead one period. So let's go to the Neptune period and then we go to the Mercury period of the following year, Venus, Mars, and so forth. Now if you're okay, so that's basically most people and you'll spend most of your time using the yearly spreads. Okay. That's what you'll be doing. You will spend most of your time on the yearly spreads. Now, if you have the cards of your destiny book, you're going to notice, well, 
there's some other cards here that don't show up in the book. Like this yearly moon card does not show up. This cosmic lesson card, this cosmic moon card, this transformed self card, these are not in the Cards of Your Destiny book. These are cards that are more for advanced students. You can click on them and it'll give you basically some basic understanding of what their position means. Like this is all about the Cosmic Lesson card. And then you can click on the basic meaning to integrate that into the, the Cosmic Lesson position. Okay. So we, we've given you some guidelines there. We don't have specific meanings written for all these cards. Uh, we just have a, basically an understanding of what these cards represent. And you can play around with that if you want. Uh, and those cards are not reported on in a yearly report that you might do with the program. Those, those Cosmic Lesson, Cosmic Moon, Yearly Moon, and Transform Self cards are not found in your yearly reports that you would create for yourself or others. Okay? So if you don't really know the structure, the basic structure of the yearly spreads, it would be a really good idea to read the first 25 to 30 pages of the Cards of Your Destiny book which explains all that in step-by-step in -step fashion so you can get it. And it's not hard. It's not hard, but if you haven't read it at all, you're going to feel a little lost here. You're just going to be wanting to know. Now, you don't really have to because you can do a yearly report. And the yearly report is really is designed to give to somebody who knows nothing about the card system. It has instructions, basically, uh, for the people person watching it uh, I'm reading it I mean so let's go to this report here and I put the yearly report at the very top of the list because it's the most commonly used so when you go to do a yearly report it's going to do it for the person whoever you have on the screen okay and you have the option to include or not include title page instructions like this is instructions for, for someone who doesn't know the system right so it's a good idea to keep those in there for anybody who's not really familiar with this system. And you have the option to include 13 year period cards, uh, seven year long range cards, and auspicious events. Now the program will automatically uh, assign the birth card and the planetary ruling card and the decanate ruler. If you've assigned a decanate ruler to somebody, uh, that happens in the database. Let's go back here for a second. And our person is like person one here. So they don't have a decanate ruling card, a DR card. This is a new discovery. It's not in the book either, not in the Cards of Destiny book. And, you know, we, let's see here. Uh, this is the, how you assign, you have to assign that manually. So you have to know how to find the decanate ruling card. And instructions for that are on the download pages. There's some PDFs you can download and you can uh, see how to do that. I happen to know, let's see, the Two of Spades, Ten of Clubs, this is a Capricorn, and they are in the third decanate, I'm pretty sure the third decanate of their sign, which would be, let's see, Capricorn, uh, and be Virgo, so it would be their Mercury card in their life spread, which happens to be the Eight of Hearts, so I'm going to select their decanate ruler as an Eight of Hearts and accept it. Now we've got a third card of decanate ruler for this person. If I select them, now I can actually watch, look at their decanate ruling card spread as well. And when I go to do a report, I can, it, it'll be selected. Now I can unselect that. I'm going to unselect these two just because of the length of the report. Okay, I don't want to, I don't want to do the whole thing. So I'm going to click on make report. It's already going to be quite a few pages here. It's generating the report pages. Let's bring this down here. This ends up being 23 pages just using the birth card alone. And you can see, like, here's the title page. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so you can see more on the screen. Um, and these are the instructions here, how to get the most out of this report. And it tells a, a person how to use this report to not only to know what's going on in their life, but to look up people in their life and see how they fit into their life in this current year. And then it goes right into all about the first person, about their card, their birth card. It goes into their ruling card and their decanate ruling card, what these things mean. And then it talks about their life spread card during the, 
uh, governing the current 13-year period. So in this system, you have seven 13-year periods of life, and each one is governed by a card, and it gives you the beginning and ending dates of that period and what card is governing it and what it means. And then we go into uh, this the fact that this is going to be all about the birth card, this section. And it has a seven-year long-range card, and then it goes into the cards that govern the entire year and so forth. So this is all explained really well in the instructions, and also it's explained really well so that you can hand these reports to somebody who knows nothing about the system, and they'll be able to get a lot out of it. That was the intent of the program. When you select three cards like this, you can have up to 60 pages or maybe even more for a report. And by the way, when you make a report, let's just do this again real quick. And, and by the way, you can select more than one year. You can select two years in a row. It always starts on somebody's birthday, and you select the year that it starts, the date. You're basically starting, deciding on what birthday to start the report. So once you have this, you can just click here to print it and select whatever your printer is, you know, uh, whatever printers you have installed on your system. Or you can click on this to create a PDF file. And you can export this to a PDF, and then you can just attach that to an email. And that's the most common thing these days, is everybody just wants their report emailed to them. So this will put the email, the, put the report wherever you want it, and you can like it. You, it says you're the report for person one. You can put it on your desktop, or you can put it in your downloads folder, wherever you want, or your documents folder. You can decide where you want this report to be, and you can click on save, and it's going to export this to a PDF, which is now here. I'm going to like make this a little smaller. Let's see, let's see here, so you can see it. It actually opened up in my in my web one of my web browsers, but you can see this is the whole report that's been generated and now it's a PDF and it's on my desktop okay so um, that's the most common way of doing it and now if I were to go on my desktop and look for that report uh, I would be able to send that report to anybody uh, here is on my desktop I'm just gonna move this over for a second there's the report and I can just drag and drop that into an email and I have sent that to a person that I want to. So that's going to be your most common use of the program. But if you have a printer and you want to print them out, they, they print out very nicely. Okay. So those are the two, those are the things that you're going to be doing most. Okay. Looking at spreads, clicking on cards, reading about the influences, going ahead in time or back in time. And uh, these other things are more advanced things. So you have the Grand Solar Spread, which I wouldn't even recommend if you're a beginner. There's no point looking at that, but this is where all the spreads come from for the year and for the other time periods. And then you have these cycles and events. Like, there are a lot of potential cycles and events that could happen. Here's the complete list. If you click on this, you can see all the ones that are possible that can possibly show up in the yearly spread and, and, and what their meaning is, okay? And you can click on this instruction buttons to get a lot more information about this screen. And you can, okay, so if you want to have more instruction about that, know more about the cycles, click on that and watch that video. All right? So now, if you have, um, this is explained actually in uh, my other uh, the database. Uh, it's explained how you can share databases. If you have more than one program, if you have the Reader Edition or the Love Cards program, as well as this one, you can have them share the same database so you don't have to enter people in twice. And you do that by just selecting what database to choose if you have those installed. Okay? So these other um, reports are detailed on their pages. Let's see, linear spreads, let's see, instructions are there. I believe they all have instructions. Weekly calendar pages, yeah, there's instructions. So go there to read more about those reports and how to make them and, and what to do with those, okay? So I hope this has cleared up some confusion that you might have going into the program for the first time and not knowing exactly what to do. Um, uh, yeah, so I think that's about it. 
and I hope you enjoy this program. I've spent a lot of time developing this. It has advanced features as well as the standard features. And it has a lot of functionality. There's things you can do here. And all these things uh, are described in the instruction buttons on each of those pages. How you can change the screen colors, the screen size, and things of that nature. And how you can edit the power values of the different cycles and so forth that are here. And this is for the money and success reports. Reports, find money and success report. So all that stuff is explained in those separate sections. So just go there to get the information that you need. Okay, so thank you for watching. And you can email me if you have other questions that aren't covered here and you still uh, have some unclarity about. Thank you very much.